In this lesson, I want to show you how to load and customize a scene. There is already a scene loaded, the Gray Studio One, which is a bit boring though. I would like to use another outdoor scenario for this picture. Outdoor, which adds a little more lively light and creates lively reflections. And I have the Congress Call One here. I would like to adapt now, namely the background image, the lightning image, and the floor. You can see that the ground has a certain offset to the actual object. It can happen that it does not always recognize the object. It usually does that. In the case of that it does not recognize, we can still adjust the offset of the floor via the scene editor. Via environment, ground settings. We have an offset value here which increases in 10th millimeter steps, as you can see. As soon as you have reached a certain limit here, the steps automatically become larger. Incidentally, you can also edit the ground here in this gallery. Although flow reflection is on, but the ground has no reflectivity. If you have another look in the scene editor, you can see that via environment ground settings, the reflectivity is set to zero. This setting makes sense here because it's not a reflective ground. Still missing is the background image and the lightning image, but we can edit them also in the scene editor. I'm going to first of all adjust the background image. It will be a two dimensional background. And the choice is already set to image file. If you prefer having a white or black background, for example, you can use the method plane here. Gradient it gives us the opportunity to set a kind of course below image file. You can load a picture. Many of these backgrounds, for example, studio backgrounds have no gradient. They have a photo instead that contains the color gradient. But you don't need to take a picture, use the gradient functions, which is much more effective. I have prepared an image file already on my desktop, and I'd like to have this kind of cracky ground as background, which I've downloaded from the Google image search. If you look at the guitar from above, of course, the lightning doesn't really fit to the floor. It is a bit too dark and is a bit too blue as well. And I'm gonna fit my objects first of all, and now I'm going to define the lightning. Via environment, you also have the option to load a custom image via choose image file. It don't have to be an HDR image. It can also be a JPEG like this beach photo, which is also containing a relatively large shadow. If the lightning images are not too bright, but have a big contrast, the result of the lightning is going to be much more interesting compared to a very monotone lightning image. I confirm that and you can relatively quickly see that this image fits much better to the ground because of the color that is reflected here. You can still rotate the image based lightning picture. This would make more sense however if you have a very clear reflection of the lightning image. In this case, you only see an effect on a very few surfaces. These surfaces are very strongly curved. But it all fits my targets. I leave it as it is and I'm going to start the Ray Trace Studio.